welcome back. It's Phil from Phil's Food Review. Um, I hope you liked our last video when we went to Planta. Uh, today, I'm taking you to one of my favorite spots downtown um, for casual dining. It's a neighborhood favorite. Um, they use local produce and they try to use organic as much as possible. Um, this place, I think everyone will love. Everyone should check it out. It's called Richmond Station. We're gonna head there now, pick up the food, uh, and let's get it. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. By the cottage room, close. We just got back in the car. Uh, we got our food with us. We have the station burger, the duck liver pate, and organic potato agnolati. So first I'm gonna try the burger. So here we got the station burger and it's kind of hard to see, but when you squeeze into it, oh, you see all those juices, you see the nice cheese running. It's all melted around the burger. It looks delicious. Uh, let's give it its first bite. Mm. It's really juicy. They have almost like, they have those pickled uh, onions. And a really nice sauce to it. But the patty itself is just, it's so juicy. You really gotta like, Take that first bite and like enjoy every little bit of it. The burger has a really solid bun. And one of the things I hate most is when you assemble a burger and the bottom just gets absolutely drenched with whatever sauce it is. It's just holding its ground. Uh, that garlic aioli isn't like escaping it or like making the bread soggy. And that's a good sign of a good burger. So I've had this before. I went to the restaurant when it was still open for, for dine-in probably like a year ago. Burger still holds up, it still holds up. So we got the duck liver pate. I've also had this before. Um, I guess now since it's takeout, they put it all separately together. Um, but when you're in the restaurant, maybe I'll put up a photo, but they sit, up, they sit the pate on top of the bread. Um, they put that, I think it's a, like almost like a peach jam uh, on top of it as well. So I'm gonna try and scoop up a piece, scoop up a bite with this. Um, I think this is raisin bread. Mm. Mm. The pate, super creamy. You really get that flavor of the duck, um, that fattiness. But the great thing is, if you had it by yourself, by itself, might be a little too much, might be a little too creamy and a little too fatty. But with that peach, cuts through that, gives you a nice little sweetness to balance out the flavors. And then obviously you have delicious raisin bread, which can't go wrong with this. And you hear that crunch. Really crunchy, really delicious. Um, yeah, just can't get enough. So here we have the organic potato angonladi. Um, looks delicious, smells delicious. You got some mushrooms on top. You got some, what are these? Balls of lentils, I think. And you got what almost look like, I guess that's what angonladi is. Right, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna take my first bite of this. Mm. You know what this really tastes like? It's almost like a pierogi. Mm. Just get all that potato and cheese inside. I think there's cheese as well. And then on top you have like all this added um, mushrooms, lentils, they have baby spinach, um, and like this creamy sauce. It all, all like fits re really well together. So I just finished eating the meal. 
Um, overall, this is probably one of the most solid restaurants in all of downtown Toronto. If you want to have a good spot to go to for date night, for meeting up with friends or whatever, I always recommend Richmond Station is a great place to go. The burger is delicious. It's so juicy. That first bite is just the flavors pop in your mouth and everything comes together so well. Um, that pate is just so creamy, so like, so rich. But with that little bit of, now that I realize it's pear on top, um, that really cuts through it. The combination of flavors are great. Um, and then that pasta was just, it was lovely. The pasta dough itself was nice and soft. And then the filling was good. It was like almost like pierogies, it was potato, it was cheese. Um, the sauce on the outside, there's other things complementing it as well. Overall, this is a fantastic place to try. Um, I highly recommend it. Maybe come when they're fully open. Um, they're always booked out though, so make sure you get a reservation. If not, the secret is, they have a long table that's just for like it's bar seating so if you don't have a reservation that's always an alternative so don't be afraid that if you don't get a reservation you won't get a spot there uh just try it out i highly recommend it you'll love it um and yeah so if you liked the video give us a like subscribe down below leave me a comment where do you think the best spot in toronto is what is your neighborhood favorite all right, let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Peace. Organic potato and gun and galati. Where do I go? Where do I start now?